Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a quick kind of a little tip, little uh, hack you might call it for the Jeep with the Uconnect and Apple CarPlay. If you're like me, you like to connect your phone to a lightning cable, I have an iPhone or USB cable, depending on what kind of phone you have, and put it up in my phone mount, whether it's my 67 Designs or my Pro Clip. Um, both are great mounts, but regardless, I like to mount them up here on the dash. And that always leaves me with a cluster of wire. Obviously, this is much longer than it needs to be. Um, even if I had a three foot cord though, it would still be draped across the dash here and always makes me crazy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a little tip, a little trick on how to run that in the dash to kind of clean things up here a little bit. So stay tuned, this is gonna be quick and easy. Okay, so we're just gonna need three simple things in order to do this. One is gonna be a nice, I like these braided cables. Um, I'm gonna take this out and show you a little closer. They're a little thicker than your normal cable and it's kind of a cloth feeling almost, but it's a braided cable that's a little thicker than your standard rubber coated. I think these are gonna hold up a little better because they are gonna be kind of pinched in behind the dash and you'll see why I recommend that. But I think these will hold up a little better over time. So I'm recommending these and I will put a link in the description. I got these on Amazon, it was like three for $7 or something like that. So I'll put a link to those in the description. You'll need a little bit of blue painter's tape. This is just to protect your dash as we pop out the one panel. Um, you just want that. And then as with almost every video I do, I've got my Matt CC trim removal toolkit. Yes, you could do this probably with a flat blade screwdriver or something other that you can pry with but I just don't want to damage the dash, so I would recommend getting this. You got some nice uh, little plastic tools in here that won't hurt your dash when we're prying on it. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do with those. Again, this will have a link in the description just like with the USB cables uh, to where I got those from on Amazon, but I think this kit was like 17 bucks, and I'm no joke, I use it in like every video, every install I do, so this was well worth it. But uh, let's get to it. I'm gonna hop over to the passenger seat here and we'll get started. Okay, so I got a spotlight going in here so you can see the dash really well. Hopefully that helps and I'm kind of at a weird angle, but basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this HVAC cluster panel. And this is real simple to do, although the first time you do it, it is a little nerve wracking because it's gonna sound like you're breaking it. But it's just a bunch of plastic clips behind here holding this whole panel on. So once you get it started, it'll pop off nice and easy. But the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our blue painter's tape. I guess the color doesn't matter, but just some painter's tape to protect. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some tape just along this edge here so that it doesn't damage anything when I try to pry on here to get this to pop out. So it's real simple, but you just wanna make sure you kind of get it real close into the crack here. Nice and easy to protect the to protect the panels when you're prying. And what I'm gonna do is for now, I've just done this top portion here. I may end up needing to do down here. I'll see what I can get in and if I can get it to pop. And actually you may wanna just start at the bottom to pry out, because if you do nick it down here, It'll be a little better than if you nick up top, you won't see it as often or as much. Uh, but I'm gonna try up here. I have taken this panel out once before when we did the red dash panel. So I'm expecting it to kind of pop out a little easier than it will your first time. First time we did it, it was a little bit of a challenge and you really had to pry on it. And like I said, it sounded like things were breaking, but it's just the plastic clips popping out. So don't get scared. Um, I'm going to grab a couple of the tools here in the kit couple of the little skinny, little more solid, harder plastic ones will do the best probably. And uh, I'm just gonna start by trying to get it down in here. And uh, let me get you a little closer view here. So you can see what I was able to do is just kind of slide this piece down in between the panels here and it's gonna start to create a gap the first time you do it, like I said, it will be a little stiffer, I believe, than what I'm experiencing right now. But basically, you're just gonna get a panel in there and possibly one at the bottom, and you're gonna pull this away. 
So let me get you set back up so I could show you that. So with this tool in here, I can start pulling away. And then what I'm gonna do is, cause now I've created a gap on the bottom side here without the tape. You might still wanna put tape there if you wanna be careful, but I'm able to get this one in there and you just start pulling away. And you, like I said, you can hear it start to pop and crack, and, but it's just those plastic clips coming undone. And we're gonna pull this panel out all the way across. So it will continue to just unsnap here all the way until it's out. So from here you can see that the whole HVAC cluster is out. We're not gonna bother disconnecting any wires today because I'm not doing anything else or going any further. I'm literally just gonna run and tuck the USB cable up and through nice and neatly to get a nice clean finish so that my cable will come out to my phone mounts over here. So let me show you how we're gonna do that. You don't need to do this for your install, but for me, I'm just gonna disconnect this one plug in the back of the HVAC cluster so that I can move it out of the way to give you guys a better view, but it's not necessary. So what I like to do is I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my USB into the auxiliary slot here, and I like to kind of keep that closed over just because I feel like it looks a little cleaner and nicer. But then what you can do is just take the, the cable and you can kind of run it up nice and clean and tight, and then you can start tucking it back behind the panels and some of the other wires here so that you can run it through nice and neat and clean. So this is uh, where Kim comes in real handy because she's got long skinny fingers. But I'm going to just feed it through here as nice and neatly as I can. I got short fat fingers so that doesn't help me here. So I just got it started and now I will continue to work it across and then up here. So Okay, so once you get it all the way through to this side, um, what you wanna do is you wanna determine how much of this excess you want hanging out on the right side here. And you don't want it to be too tight where it's tugging on this or pulling, but a nice little loop here is good, okay? So that's probably good there. And then I want this to come out because it's basically gonna pop out about here, right around here. Let me angle this up a little bit so you can see. It's gonna probably come out right about here and I wanna make sure that I can plug it in to the phone and have a little excess in case I wanna swivel it or move it over to the pro clip here. So I'm gonna leave myself a little bit of excess when I tuck it in there nicely and then that way I can go ahead and put the cluster back in, which this goes back in super easy. Um, let me go ahead and plug in the plug I disconnected. Okay, so I wanna to try to get this to come out right about there to the, uh, the edge of the radio surround and right at the top of the cluster. And again, right before I push it in, I'm gonna make sure I'm happy with the locations. And you can see there how it's just sticking out and then it will just be sticking out at the bottom over here. So now I can go ahead and just plug it, push it back in until you hear them clip in. All the way around. And just like that, that's all done. And I can go ahead and peel off my blue painter's tape. Nice and easy, no marks there. And let me give you a better view here. So just like that, in a matter of minutes, I cleaned it up to where I've just got a little piece of the wire hanging out here and a little piece of the cable hanging out here and no mess, nothing tangling, hanging around other than Kim's hair ties, which drive me crazy. But other than that, this is all cleaned up. Looks a little more custom. 
just neat and clean. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over on Neo. And I just wanted to show you with the radio screen on that my CarPlay is working and I can, you know, use all the things with it just being plugged in here, nice and neat. Okay, so I hope you guys like the super simple hack that we thought of actually when we were doing the dash on this a long time ago. We thought about it and uh, finally got around to making a video here for you guys just to show it off. We did kind of mention it when we were doing the dash video, but here's just a video showing you exactly what we did, how super easy it is to do even when you're not doing the dash. Again, we hope uh, you guys have enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments, do you like these quick little videos or do you prefer when it's a little more longer vlog style? And uh, make sure you give us a big thumbs up. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel. You know we're gonna keep coming at you with more JL Wrangler videos and Neon Gladiator videos. So stay tuned. So this time it's definitely gonna help having both. definitely harder when it's your first time doing it so make sure you're ready to give it a good tug and just be careful as you're pulling apart on it